to another home related video. Today I have for you a huge house haul of things that I purchased from Amazon and Home Depot, mainly Amazon to be honest, but I wanted to just open all of these boxes with you guys and share the stuff that I've gotten for the last month and a half or so. If I'm being honest with you, I haven't opened a lot of these boxes and I've forgotten the stuff that I've gotten. So it's going to be a surprise for both of us. It's also going to be a really good way to keep up with the packages and orders and see if I'm missing anything or if I have to return anything, if I'm even in the window to return stuff because I've waited this long to open them. I haven't done an Amazon favorites or Amazon haul in so long, which I'm so excited to bring them back because I have been living off of Amazon as many of us have. So I'm going to be linking my Amazon storefront down below for you guys so that you can keep up with it and follow me there as well as my like to know it. I finally opened a like to know it. That way I can have everything in one place for you guys. I do want to say I'm sorry for the echo in this room. This has turned into our package room as you can see. There's no furniture or rug in this room so it's definitely very echoey but I hope you guys enjoy nonetheless. So let's jump right into the video. All right, where do I begin? Honestly, I don't know what's like super interesting. Maybe with the lights, to be honest. I think I'm going to start with our exterior lights because I got a bunch from Amazon and Home Depot. Starting off with this one, which is absolutely stunning. I am obsessed. Like, are you kidding me? So this one is from Amazon. I believe it's 20 inch. I learned that it's actually important to really heavy but i've learned when it comes to exterior lights it's important to go bigger than you expect because it's a mistake that a lot of us make in getting i guess smaller lights and not giving it the accent that it needs so i decided to go bigger than expected or bigger than the ones that we originally had to be honest so those are going to go in between our french doors leading up to the pool which is going to be really nice the french doors it's going to add a nice little element to those beautiful like french style very i don't know antique vibes i definitely wanted something with a lot of texture or an intricate look to it and this one is by far my top favorite and then i also got two that are going to go on each corner of the house on the back side of the house which i am also in love with they're so beautiful they're a little bit bigger than what we already had which is again what i wanted this one is a little bit more boxy but still like a structure i don't know i just i love how cute and elegant it looks you're going to start to notice that they're all very different styles but they still like tie in together with the little soup so the back ones are a little bit more square and then i got two that are more farmhouse style this one was definitely a surprise for what I originally, I guess, had in mind. But then I got on Pinterest and started to see all of these amazing infos. Obviously, our doors don't look like this, but it's definitely the style that I want later on once we start remodeling the exterior of the house. So I went more of a farmhouse style for those lights, and it is a statement. They are so, so much bigger than I expected in the best way possible. I am obsessed with them. They're really, really high quality for the price, I feel. And I just love the way that they look. I think it's definitely going to add a more elevated look to that side of the house. And the garage already has more of a farm look to it with the door, which will replace eventually with a window. But um, yes, I am just really in love with it. And I think it added more of a intricate look to that side. Now for the front door, these were actually the very first that we purchased and it was so, so hard to find anything bigger than 20 inches that was a reasonable price because I had no idea how expensive exterior lights were, especially like nice ones for your front door if you want a good size. They were up there in like the 400s, 700s for one. So I found these from Bed Bath & Beyond, I believe, and they were definitely a steal for what they were. And they were definitely a steal for the size and the structure and quality, in my opinion. These are a little bit more modern, but it adds a soft touch with the little, again, zoop that they all have. Um, and they're all very different, but beautiful at the same time. So I think they're all going to tie in together. I am just in love with it. And it's such a beautiful statement to the front of the house. I'm moving on still with the lights, but very random purchase this was actually very hard to find because i had no idea the name of this but it's basically a plate that goes behind the actual accent light i'm gonna see if i can actually show you but as you can see this back side is very long and you know quite large to be honest so the one that we already had is a lot smaller it's more square 
so I wanted to replace it with something that was going to fit the light that I got and I was able to find the same exact size and I had no idea that this was also going to be very expensive like it's just plastic that you don't really see but whatever so i got two of these and it definitely made it look a lot more expensive and just put together i can't really find all of the light bulbs that i got but i got these from or like i guess this brand from home depot they're the eco smart i didn't really know which brightness to go with because i'm more of a white light however i do like the soft i guess cozy vibes that a yellow light gives so i wanted to go with a middle ground and i went with the soft white and i think I think it's going to work out hopefully but definitely let me know the type of light bulbs that you guys have in your household because i think it's very interesting and it definitely adds a difference with the light bulbs that you have so hopefully these work continuing on with the lights we added a bunch of recent lights throughout the house and we're also going to be switching oh great these do have the logo eric is going to kill me this is really annoying. I was looking for these types of lights that didn't have the logo in the bottom, as you can see. But these are the LED dimmer two pack in the flat design. The ones that we have right now, it's like the up and down. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? But I wanted to replace all of these with this style. Not all dimmable, but you know, the same style and make it a little bit more modern. So I got eight that are dimmable and some regular also from Amazon, which I'll link because those were a lot cheaper than the Home Depot ones. Wow, I definitely have a thing for lights, as you can see. <laughs> this I got for the Christmas tree, which fun fact, we have not decorated. I purchased everything for the Christmas tree and the style that I wanted to go for this year. But honestly, with the way that our life is situated right now and the fact that we've had to move living rooms because this was originally our living room and then we had to move all our furniture to the main living room because this one needed to be sanded and stained all over again whatever long story short it's been too much to actually decorate a christmas tree and just move it back and forth so it's bare at the moment however i did get these beautiful little like candle sticks to go on the christmas tree and hopefully I'll add them next year because they're super cute. So I'm going to still link these in case you want to also get them for next year. Now, these I shared already, but these are the recent lights that I got for the house. Our electrician actually said that these were super easy to install and that he 100% recommends them. The only thing I went wrong in, and that's obviously a personal preference, um, but I probably would have gone for the four inch and not the six inch because the six inch are pretty big. Um, however, it does bring a lot more light, so pros and cons there, but I do love these. They're great, and they were a pretty good price for this, the amount. And I also like the fact that you can change the color temperature, so I might, I might switch these because they're way too white for the house, um, and it makes it look a little bit more like a hospital, but yeah. I got two packs of these, so we have 24. I probably might have to buy more because we still need to add four recess lights in this room and a few in the kitchen and a few in the guest rooms. Super random. I didn't really know that people used these or needed these in a house, but it made sense. So I got the Eero 6 Plus uh, dual band mesh Wi-Fi 6 system. I don't really know what that means. But it's a pack of three that basically is a Wi-Fi extender in case your Wi-Fi doesn't reach certain areas. So for example, the light that we have or camera that we have above the garage, it doesn't fully reach our Wi-Fi since the house is pretty big and long. So I ended up getting this. That way we can have Wi-Fi everywhere in the house. I'm going to add one in the basement, one upstairs and one down here so that it reaches every corner of the house. I'll definitely update you on this because this was quite... An investment and very expensive they do have more affordable ones which i'll probably also link for you guys so that you can see the different price points but eric's mom uses this one and she recommended it so i purchased it super random but we got a humidifier after many many years of my manager recommending one um shout out to jana but yeah ever since moving to this house i don't know why the air is just drier I think it's because our heater is very, very high. We need to get someone to come and check it out. But this one is super aesthetically pleasing. We love it. It actually really works. Like the first day that we put it, I noticed a huge difference in our sleep and just, I don't know, overall air. You can breathe better. I love it. And again, it's super cute. So 
plus. Honestly, being able to do this is bringing so much peace. All right. Very random. This one I got for from Black Friday, actually. It is a, this is what it looks like. It's a little pool vacuum. Now that we have a pool, we'll need this for the summertime. It's super cute. They also come in black, but this was on sale, so I found it to be a good price. Still trying to figure out everything that we need for the pool and the maintenance and all of that. So definitely leave me your recommendations, but I figured a pool vacuum is needed. This one, actually. Oh, these are. I didn't know I got this. Oh, yes. So, again, because of the way that our house is set up, we actually come through the garage. I'm pretty sure a lot of people in America come in through the garage. So, I decided to get the keypad digital deadbolt. This is what it looks like. Let me see if I open it. This is what it looks like. Pretty common. And then this is what the back looks like and i guess these are the tools and then i got a regular doorknob in black so the doorknobs that we're doing inside of the house are all brass and i have to show you guys because i purchased this is this was an impulsive purchase i have to say not an impulsive purchase because i've been wanting these doorknobs for forever like before even owning a house i've been looking at these doorknobs however they're quite quite expensive so let me, I need to find it somewhere in here. I have to say the one thing about opening all of these boxes is probably keeping everything together. All right. Maybe I might change this today, but we got these um, solar light, solar light covers for our railing. I think that's what it's called. Anyways, this is what they look like. I'll probably put a picture here so you can see exactly what they look like. And I'll definitely get to putting these outside because I want it to look like more lit up outside. And I think it's going to add a nice little touch. Another random purchase, but I feel like very much needed for the laundry room. I ended up getting this clothing, oops, oops. I ended up getting this clothing rack like stand or shoulder is what it looks like. Pretty cool. Oh, nice. It's pretty good quality, I have to say, but that's what it looks like. But yeah, very random, but I think very much needed. I also want to get one of those like foldable um, ironing boards, if that makes any sense, the ones that you drill on. I'll also post a picture here, but I've been eyeing one and I think I might get it. I want to eventually obviously renovate and do a laundry makeover. I've been eyeing this one for whenever we renovate the laundry room because I think it's going to be very useful since the laundry room is downstairs and not upstairs. And you know, who wants to keep going up and down to iron? So just, just household things. I showed this already in the first episode of the homeowner series, but I still have to give it another shout out because we've been using this so, so much and it's definitely 110%. I'm sure you've already gone crazy looking at many people recommending this. So in case you have not yet purchased it, this is your sign. So this is the electric spin scrubber and it has seven heads. The best part is that it's wireless. So 10 out of 10 recommend. Oh my God, this one's very heavy. Oh God, all right, this was gonna be a quick one, but <laughs> we got a safe, a regular all safe that everyone needs and should have. Um, oh, in this box, maybe I'll move the camera because I'm moving further and further away. The lighting is probably not the same, but let's continue. Starting with your handy dandy electric racket. If you know, you know. I've already mentioned this, but there's a bunch of bugs here and I'm, I am just getting used to it. It's fine, I'm fine. However, we all need an electric one of these, especially in the summer whenever there's probably mosquitoes and stuff with our pool. But um, whenever we open the windows, there's always a fly that comes in and it's just very large and annoying. So quite handy. This is going to be a very random box, but we have this digital circuit breaker finder because we need to basically label our breaker from top to bottom and eric decided to get this i think it's definitely an essential for every household oh. so 
So these are, see, these are Oh, that's gonna be a no-go for me. Can you hear that? Yeah, we're returning these. These are the flat ones that I mentioned that are not dimmable, and they were a little bit cheaper for obvious reasons, now that I notice. It's like a pack of 20, I think, but it's too loud for my liking, so. We are returning this. Wow, oh, that was good that I opened this. I need to make a little return pile then. What else is in here? I got some pillow covers. These are like the fuzzy ones. Super cute. I don't know why I got these because to be honest, we're not going to be putting new pillow covers just yet. I hope that this is the correct size. So I should measure, but these are really good quality. And I also got another pillow cover for some chocolate ones. These are a little bit bigger, I think, but very nice, love it. And last but not least, I got some detergents because these kept being recommended to me on Amazon and I was like, all right, fine, I'll get it. Now this is a little bit expensive for what it is. And then I got it, right? And this is, this is extremely small. What am I supposed to do with this? But everyone seems to love this. It's the Glamorous Wash Diva Fine Laundry Detergent. And it's a little package. It smells, it smells insanely <laughs> delicious and amazing just from the outside. I haven't even opened it, but I don't know. I, I thought it was going to be bigger. And then this, I actually thought it was going to be smaller and it's a good size. It's the signature detergent from the Laundress, I think. Really nice. So let me actually smell this one. Mm. It smells clean. I like it. All right, there's a huge box here with all of these vent covers that are you know needed not really they're not needed but ours are so dirty that i decided to change every single one of them and they are i'll just say that they add up okay they're very expensive so i got one two three four five six seven seven and i think we actually maybe have more or i need to buy more these are the curtains that i got for our bedroom they're the lights filtering panel here's a up close it's like oatmeal color it's linen material and it's also blackout curtains which is great for the bedroom and i found these to be the best price so i got one two three four five six six of those very quickly on the ones that you can actually already see but i got these lights for the hallway upstairs and i'm so excited and then the large one down here which i'm not going to bring i'm sorry i'll put like a picture but that one is going to be for our entrance and hopefully if it's we don't know yet all right i'm sorry that i keep moving you next up i am sure that this has to be the um the poles for the curtains that i got I'm not mistaken, I got two just to know which ones. Oh, these are beautiful. Oh, I'm obsessed with the brass. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a beautiful brass. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Love that. And then we have another one. I don't know why it didn't come in the same box. It's the same. Yeah, I think it's the same thing, but that's what it looks like. Dude, this easily fit all three in here. I don't know why they sent two packages. A new box. I need to be careful because Eric told me not to <laughs> not to open my Christmas gift by mistake. Oh, this. Oh. Super random, but I got two filters for our Dyson. And then these cute little straw covers for my Stanley Cup. Because again, bugs. And we're not playing that game. So a very essential order. <laughs> Oh, this is something that I'm planning to add in Eric's stocking. That's what it looks like. It's basically a snow cleaning tool for your car windows. I got two, one for me, one for him. There's literally another fly. Another random gift that I got for Eric. 
this is actually going to be for the lumber that we're going to be bringing in and out um, to the chimney. But I figured I would get him like a cute little bag. And this is what it looks like. It opens up nicer. So I'll insert a quick little picture, but it's, it's very nice for what it is. We are making some moves, but there's still more to go. Moving on to doorknobs. Again, these are the very expensive doorknobs that I, I've been dreaming of. So I decided to get these because they were on sale for Black Friday. However, now I wish I got the round ones, but I want it to be different. <laughs> or, I don't know, I just wanted something unique. And I went with the longer version. So let's see for the first time. This is so beautiful. I'm obsessed. What do we think about the longer knob? Do we like, do we not? I don't know, I think it's, I think it's nice. I got four of these and they were like 160 each. I don't wanna talk about it. I don't wanna talk about it, but I think they're super worth it. They are insane quality, like, very sturdy, heavy duty. These are from the Nostalgic Warehouse. I purchased these from Amazon though, and they also sell them on Wayfair. Oh, I got more curtains. I think these, oh, they're the same ones. Yeah, so I got three more of these, the same curtains. I got a bunch of these, which are just the smart plugs from Amazon. So I got four of these. This, it seems like it's open. Why would it be open? But this is the, oh, it's so beautiful. This is the door handle that I got for our front door. It's, it's stunning. Hopefully it works and it goes with the vibes. Another purchase. Oh God, this is too heavy for me. There's no shot. Sorry, there's no way that I'm lifting this, but we got a garage door opener. Um, you know, just your regular homeowner purchase. We have this small little bag. Hmm. These are not brass. I got a pack of these little clips to put the curtains, but they're like green. I don't know. They're not brass, so we might return. Another Christmas gift, super random, but I got this for my mom because my mom has like circulation issues and my manager recommended this as well. So I got this for her. Hopefully she likes it. I'm pretty sure she's probably gonna be like, what the heck, but whatever. This is another box full of like random stuff. So I got this for Eric as another one of his little gifts. This is a like electric, screwdriver kit really nice he's been getting really annoyed at like taking flatheads out manually so i got an electric one and then this is actually the cover for yeah this is the cover for our ac which i have no idea weirdly enough that you need it to cover it obviously we thankfully got a new ac with the house so i really want to take care of it so i got a cover as well as a wooden panel to cover it all around. That way it's nicer in the summertime. I'll show you that maybe now. This is what it looks like. It's just little panels like these. <coughs> Thank you. Anyways, these are panels, like wooden panels. So I'm thinking of staining it probably the same color as our floors or maybe a darker color because we had a bunch of leftover stain. So that's what that looks like. All right, I've already shared this, but this is one of our chandeliers for my office. Love her. I'll insert a little picture right here. I got it, I think, in Black Friday for a huge sale, so I couldn't resist. And I think it's going to be really cute. <gasps> You're not gonna believe what this is. So I got this as like a random Christmas present for my mom. Oh 
Are you kidding me? Oh, she's so pretty. <sighs> How freaking stunning is this? My mom loves the color red, like is obsessed with the color red. And she's also obsessed with Barbies. Like growing up, my mom wanted me to be a Barbie girl <laughs> um, all my life. And I was for like a short while, but then I was more dolls and baby dolls and stuff. She also used to love collecting them and we had to get rid of them when we moved here to the States. So I got her the 2022, oh, I thought this was the 2023. I got her the 2022 holiday Barbie, super cute. The list that just keeps on giving. This is honestly the best thing I could have done because it forced me to do, what are these? Oh, these are, I always start a train of thought and then never finish, but it forced me to open all of these boxes and know what I got and what I need to return. So these are carbon monoxide and like a fire, um, I need to get the actual name, one sec. All right, I got my phone, but these are the smoke detector carbon monoxide detector combo with voice speaker, dual sensor, fire, and long story short, I wanted to replace the ones that we had for a more modern one and to just do a dual one. So like, instead of having two of each around the house, we have one that does the work of two. So that's what I got. I got a pack of two. I got a few of these covers to replace the ones that we currently have all around the house. I got these in white. I got 30, 40. I got 40 of these. The random thing that I got to put in Eric's stocking, just because like he loves anything home related, as you guys can see, he's like very handy and loves to do stuff around the house. So I got him this like contour um, ruler, if that makes sense. You can just like get any shape and get the specific size that you need. What is this? This is for, oh my God, I didn't know this was gonna be real. I thought it was just like a little sticker. This is so cool. So I got this um, garage handle thing for decor sake. And I genuinely thought it was going to be like a sticker, <laughs> but it's legit metal. Pretty cool. How beautiful are these? So I got the handles and then I got like the flat ones that go in each corner. Hopefully it's four. I'm making those here. This one is the same switch cover, but the three-way one. I got a pack of four. All right. Oh, this is for the pool. Um, this is the floating chemical dispenser, also for the pool. So I'll put it in the pool stuff. And then this is actually the Wi-Fi extender like plug thing. Oh my God. This is so much bigger than I thought, but I also got Eric another random house gift, a tool belt, if that makes sense. He's been wanting one of these. He's like, you're gonna make fun of me, but I'm gonna purchase it. And I'm going to surprise him with one. This is actually really nice. Extremely random, but the other day, well, first of all, there's way too many movies out there that it's like truly making it more noticeable that we should be prepared for whatever may come our way. So now that we live like in the middle of nowhere, the other day I went to Home Goods and my phone died. So I just went about my business, went around Home Goods for like a good hour and a half, and my phone was dead. So when I get to the car, my phone wasn't turning on, even though I was charging it or plugging it in the car and you know that like, it usually takes a long time when your phone fully dies to get charged again if you're charging it from your car. My phone took like a good 30 to 40 minutes, not even kidding, to turn on and I was internally freaking out. I'm like, how am I going to get home? I don't know how to get home. It's pouring rain outside. And I then came to the conclusion that I think it's very important for us to own a map. So I got the Northeast map of the United States um, just in case just in case we need to, you know, we need it. So I'm gonna put it in the car, just in case we need it. Another just in case purchase. Um, I thought this was going to be way bigger, but Eric decided to get a first aid kit, which is actually very much needed in this household, especially because Eric is very clumsy. So this is great. This is, this is really great. Also from Black Friday, I got another air purifier. This one is the Levoit brand which is very popular 
Um, I really do think this does make a huge difference and I personally feel that smaller ones in every room works better than having like two big ones per floor. So I decided to get one for whichever room we're going to be using the most. Um, as of right now, it's the living room and then we have one in our bedroom and then little by little I'll start buying per room. That way we all have one. I also want to get one for the basement because I think it needs to be purified. Yeah, this is gonna be it now. And you guys have no idea how many I purchased of these. Like, I think I got a hundred. This is what this one looks like. The guy recommended to get like a three way one. So, I don't really know what that means, but I got the three way one and I'm now going to return it. And then, same thing, this is the four way switch. Maybe I'm just exaggerating. Uh, it's fine it's fine another little random gift i know this is eric is really hard to shop for and i know that these small little things he's going to appreciate more than like random stuff you know that i know he's not going to use or appreciate so i got him this little tray for the couch because he's the type of person that likes to have like a little corner of his stuff like place neatly like the remote control his phone snacks drinks and stuff like that so i got this little tray and it actually has even like a plug for your phone which is great and i think it's going to come in handy especially for our movie room whenever we finish it all right we're done unboxing however i have a bunch of orders that i know were delivered a long time ago but i don't know where they are so I'm just going to mention them here um, in case you guys also want to purchase it. Uh, we actually got a submerge pump. Is that what you call it? A sub pump for the pool. This is what it looks like. Um, I don't really know what it does or what it's for, but Eric does. So he finds it handy and it's on sale in case you also need one. Then something that I'm low-key a little concerned about, I cannot find these little curtain rings that I got for the curtains. Hopefully they're somewhere around, but they're so small that I don't know if they were even delivered, but this is what they look like. But yeah, that's pretty much our massive Amazon and Home Depot haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to have all the links down below for you guys. Definitely let me know any recommendations as first time homeowners for us to buy. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye. Just wanna say that I found these and they're actually even better than I expected. So 10 out of 10. Not me wearing my belt open the entire time of the video love that for me like a stone in a well no one can find me here pretending